Uh, where am I? What's going on with my life? Why am I? What? Um, no. No, this is not right. I shouldn't be here. Have I bumped? No, I'm, I'm bump free, actually. I'm sorry to say, I'm bump free. Um, oh God. Okay. I better go to York then. Point of view, you're a nascent communist roundhead parliamentarian and you're attacking York to kick out the King Charles Royalists. So viewers, welcome to central York within the gates, looking at F.R. Stubbs, uh, mid 20th century iron munger. I started asking Laura, what else can you mung? You can mung fear. You can mung iron. You can mung cheese. You can be a cheese munger, fear munger. But there's not much else you can mung. Tell you what, one of the best things about York is that it's not Manchester. Gluten and dairy free, basically, do you want your food without fun, without flavour? Yeah, come here, yeah, it's fine. What else can you remove from your life? Just total control of your life. Alright, I've been in town for all of five minutes and there's p police. What are they doing? What's the cops up to? What are these guys doing? Reminds me of a show that Zoomers won't remember, L Little Britain. And you guys, you want to whip my, whop my gate? Uh, if, if you whip my whop, I'll whop your gate. As it is Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak, for all my viewers, I will, uh, wait, Johnny, wait, get it, get it, get it. For all my, uh, and I have many Muslim viewers, moderates, religious, traditional. Um, I will, uh, it's important. <laughs> um, you know what? In the spirit of mercy and forgiveness, I'll, I'll let Peppa fly. Go on, pig. On you go. So, uh, when people think of York, they think primarily of uh, the area we're about to enter now. The little, cute little overhanging, all different levels, all strange. There's a shop on the left called the shop that must not be named. And that, that is the lovely Laura. Laura, say hi. Oi. That dog's got a human's face and he's, he's got shoes on. The dog's got shoes on. But the dog hates that. But anyway. Um, oh, it's okay. Just my opinion. I wasn't, you know. Fucking hell, woman. <laughs> Potions, no, the Potions Cauldron. This is where all the... Wait, who does potions of witches? Well, if they come around Lancashire, I've got Mr. Pendle, he knows what to do. He'll sort them all out. Witchcraft, dark arts. This is my first sunny day in York, and it's, uh, it's busy. There's Mr. York, what's Mr. York saying? Regular viewers remember, this is a York ghost merchant, and for some reason it became an online meme. It became like a, a thing for people to do. They like their York ghosts, so I'll show you guys. For example, that's that, and uh, here's the queue. Is it worth it? Of course not. The sheep are gonna sheep, the followers are gonna follow, the NPCs are gonna NPC. One of the main squares here, Coll Collier Gate, we're in. And I just wanted for my viewers, especially the international audience, for which this is all very quaint and English. Look at this dog, dog's loving it. What do you think, doggy? So, shambles, that cute little street. I'm sure at least seven of you have commented already. It's shambles, market, and Newgate. So let's get the shot. Let's get the quintessential York shot with these uh, weird, slightly strange overhangs. There you go. York. Still can't get over the the York ghost merchants and this whole queue. Imagine you make small 
featureless ceramic ghosts and people travel across the world. Look at them. Look at them. They love it. He said the words lawsuit. Who's going to do a lawsuit? American audience perked up. Lawsuit. There's a language we understand. Sue them. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Go on. Mobility. She made it through. Just about. I couldn't help wondering, where's your handcuffs? Oh my god, I remember British police don't do handcuffs. No, you don't. You're famous internationally, you don't do handcuffs. What is it you don't do? But you don't even carry handcuffs. Is that how safe it is here? No, even look at that, guys. Cops with no handcuffs. We all know he's a community support officer, but he didn't want to say that because he didn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your handcuffs, bro? Where's your pink, fluffy handcuffs? No? No? The poetry. No, perfume is the poetry of love written in the air. Which is why when I fart, it's very meaty and smells like rotting corpses. Great plane. Anyone else my age or a bit older remember Grape Ape? Grape Ape, the American cartoon with a very large purple ape. Now I, I wish I had some coins for Puppet Man. Wish I had some coins from. Now imagine you're a medieval peasant and uh, the biggest structure you've seen is a mud hut in your local village. And then you're like, yeah, I'll go do some business in York and boom, boom, boom. Thank you for the blue skies, finally, finally, waiting all season. Finally in York without rain. Finally. Okay, here's Constantine. I wonder how he'd feel if he saw what they did to the Hagia Sophia in Constantinople. Oh Lord, they'll retake it one day, Emperor, I promise. The guy says, ne never. You, you've uh, succumbed to the Ottoman propaganda, sir. <laughs> Uh-oh, Trady's getting himself a ticket. Trady, white van. Well, the way I see it, serves him right for succumbing to the temptation of a personal license plate. <laughs> Oof. I only joke, I don't know, but he has. That's just the, the way it is. And uh, personalized license plates each to their own. I think there's better spends for your money. The oldie starry in here in the old city centre. Look, they've even got this whole like, Victorian fox in a suit with a scarf business going on there. Look at that. That's what you need. Just a few more seconds. Just wait for it. Just a few more. And cut. Don't mind me, just admiring a building built in 1434. And, uh, yeah. Inside my mind. Okay, he, he sings it better. Now on New Street, looking onto Old Street or something, I don't know. Right guys, I'm blaming this one on the Americans. Jason and Peckett, they died. Three, one month and three weeks after the American Revolution. Look what you've done, Americans. If you hadn't thrown that tea into the harbor in Boston, we'd all be alive still. As the Italians would say, 
Mamma mia, porco dio, it's a pig god, porco dio indeed. Um, it's a golden fat, what is it? It's the demon of Yorkshire. What do you think, madam, the golden fat pig demon? Oh, there you go. Let's see, the lady's speechless. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I present to my viewers Bon Jovi man. Go on, Bon Jovi man. <laughs> York Minster preserving heritage craft skills for the future. York Minster Stone Yard, Mason's Lodge. If you have a look, they're wearing gas masks because you don't want stone. Yeah, they got like tubes at the back. They don't want that going into their uh, lungos. So uh, I want to shout out, hey Mason guy, that's a nice 33 degree slope you've got on that bit of rock there. Ha 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 ha, says the gargoyle. In some little random garden, and it's a hive of activity in here. Another giant, well this one's not so giant, soon to be giant, not quite as girthy as he could be. California, redwood, brought over by the Victorianos. They loved it. Pretty cool tree, but anyway, the reason I started filming is I'm um, in a nice little garden, little greenhouse. It's all very nice, and uh, we're, we're, we're literally right next to the Minster, which is their word for, for this cathedral. There's some good dinging of the dong. Oh yeah, good deep bass there. Oh, it's two o'clock. Just to show you guys what erosion and acid rain. So this is a new pillar installed in 1987. And these ones here are around a thousand years old. And uh, <laughs> a human being before they become addicted to the Charlie Veach channel after 500 videos. Now, uh, let's have a look at the crucifix through the thingies. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. That's quite touching. And this particular memorial is for the Battle of Kohima, 1944. Sounds Japanese. Kohima. I just found out for you viewers, the Battle of Kohima was Brit between British soldiers leading Indian and Nepalese and the Japanese in the Assam district of British India. And we remember those Brits. And let's see if they won casualties and losses. Um, allied victory. Go on, Brits. We won. Oh, the things I would do to have a house like that. I would uh, help the king out as he invades France, uh, give him some young men, soldiers, swear allegiance, and then he'd maybe give me some land next to Yorkminster in return. Remember, viewers, if you can hear me, throw the wind. Believe in yourself. You know what's right. Not those bastards on TV, not the government. Not the people on social media, not your enemies, not people who try to make you feel bad. You know what's right. So live it. Remember, not a dress rehearsal. Nobody has a clue. Atheists don't know. Christians don't know. Muslims don't know. Hindus don't know. We try and create art. We try and do beauty. Truth, beauty, and love. Because we're all going to die. We're all going to suffer. We're all being tortured by the unbearable heaviness of being. And just remember. Relax. Do what thou wilt. Don't hurt other people, but... You know what I'm saying. We are no longer in York, not even in Yorkshire. We're in Lancashire, looking at the, what's meant to be a red rose, in memory of World War I, World War II heroes. We're by the Calderstones Hospital, which is now a mental asylum. Not even joking, it's a mental asylum. And I'm meant to go to there to get the key for the pedestrian gate. But uh, my viewers are maybe thinking what I'm thinking. Are you? Yeah. And we are in. Not my most noble uh, body roll on the floor, but I've done it and we're in. So let's go and have a look. We're walking towards a weird one here, guys. There's like an old gate there. 
probably built in the mid 40s after World War II with a crucifix at the top should become apparent as we get closer loving the sunsetty golden hour but uh, in terms of World War I and World War II memorial graveyards this one seems abandoned I'll try and find some actual war graves I don't think they're going to use all that slate mate and uh, got some oil drums one of which seems to have a a hammer and sickle on it ironically in the uh, Ukrainian colors but anyway we're neither here or there with that we come round remember we were just walking towards that these two structures here are so abandoned I want to actually go in because because one can one can <laughs> the camera's gonna see nothing in there that's me opening up my aperture. Oh, I can't get it any more open, Daddy. But anyway, that's that in there. Goodbye, strange outlying buildings. Oh, there's a hole in that door. We're going to investigate that. Yeah, not quite as exciting as the other one, but uh, there's a wonderful amount of plastic bottles, doors, sunshine, sun. I liked this tree. In fact, I'm liking this tree in the present moment. By the time you get to watch it, I'll have liked it, and it's up to you to now like it in the present moment. Here we go, um, Black Belt Barrister. To mind, and I'll have to tag him now that I yeah, you will, have him BBB. Mind is Charlie Beach. Oh, I'll tag him below if you're not familiar. That is a perfect example of citizen journalism. Yeah, exactly what I'm talking about in this video. Yeah, um, I'll tag him below. Go check out his stuff. It's quite entertaining. Thank you. Go on, um, Dan. So, anyway, uh, thank you, uh, Daniel from the Black Belt. Who is the Black Belt Barrister? Excellent YouTuber. I'm catching up with him in terms of subscribers. He's on 409. I'm on 376K. So uh, we're at the Commonwealth War Graves. The jokes are going to end now. I'm going to go in, have a look. But uh, there's not really anything hilarious about young men who gave their lives for, for king and country. Let's just share a quiet moment for Major J.R. Foster of the Royal Army Medical Corps, who died on the 22nd of February 1920 at the age of 38. This uh, graveyard we're in now commemorates the 33 soldiers who were badly injured in the Great War and then subsequently died at the, the Worley uh, Military Hospital. And that's why, obviously, J.R. Foster here died outside the years of the First World War. Well, I would be very happy if somehow uh, a living member of Major J.R. Foster's family one of his descendants saw this because today, Major, we salute you and your sacrifice and uh, long may you rest in peace. So here you go for the 33 who gave their lives and died in Queen Mary's military hospital, Worley. And uh, our Major, Major Foster, he's the first name on here. Just outside the Commonwealth War Graves, there's a, the remnants of an old graveyard. And this one's interesting. The loving memory of Andrew Howard, only son of Major Ambrose. He died at the age of 20, 20, 1909, 1935, 26. And Doctor said he had the mind of a child of six. Poor guy. Jesus said, suffer little children to come unto me. Poor Andrew. Well guys, that's it for this video. I'm uh, literally walking into the sunset and uh, going back towards the gates. I'll climb under, upload, and see you on the next one.